Well, golfers got out their seven irons and drivers and other clubs today to play a game of golf for a good cause. For this week's Community Spotlight, Jamil Donath meets us on the fairway for the Bemidji Area Boys and Girls Club Bob Louth Ford Golf Championship Fundraiser. It's tea time at the Bemidji Country Club. But today, these golfers are on the green for a good cause. On a day like today, great weather, fun to be out, and uh, a lot of people supporting the club today. The ninth annual Bob Lau Ford Golf Championship raises funds for the Bemidji Area Boys and Girls Club. This by far is our biggest um, fundraiser for the club. We only charge $15 a year for a youth membership, but it really costs us between six dollars and $800 to run the programs. And while a fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club, the tournament is set up to benefit the athletes too. We play what's called a quota game where you whatever your handicap is you subtract it from the quota. Normally an individual sport this game of golf is played in pairs. It's unlike any other championship um, that anyone plays here during the summer. My partner and I have played together every year we've won it one year uh, we always try to win but We'll see what happens. So this fundraiser hopes to raise around $15,000 for the Boys and Girls Club, which organizers and golfers say is a hole in one. It's huge for the club. It's a good fundraiser for a great organization, and I love the game of golf. It's just a nice casual day of golf, and it's uh, for a great cause. 18 holes and 88 golfers all at different skill levels. I am an avid, obsessive, compulsive golfer. Hoping to stay on par. Nice. But mainly having fun. That's it. You know, everyone's a winner here. We're, we're supporting a great organization in Bemidji. Whether a birdie or a bogey, it's another swing towards helping boys and girls in Bemidji. For this week's Community Spotlight, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.